Hi, my name is Thomas Nelson. Most people call me Tom, and I am an arts practitioner. Um, yeah, I love to paint, love to draw, um, sing, dance, perform. But today, I'm going to be talking about the arts kind of side. Now, you're probably wondering where is he? What is this space? What is he doing here? He's talking about art. Um, this is actually my house. Um, I converted uh, the conservatory into a studio space. In fact, after I graduated uh, last year, I just thought I need to do some art. I really want to break into the scene in Birmingham and nationally. What do, where can I start? And I just thought the best thing to do is uh, run around the space and just get going. So this is my home. Um, you know, you can see by my slippers and my jeans. I like to be homely and comfortable. Um, but yeah, a little bit about myself. Arsenal, favourite team, best team in the world. What, what, come on, Gunners. Um, I love chicken. I love to have a good time with my friends, football. Um, I go to church regularly as well, so it's something um, that's been a really big influence in my life. And I also am a development manager at Aston Performing Arts Academy. So I'm always integrating with young people and just get to learn and also just teach um, about performing arts and singing and just the arts in general. So, moving on to some of my paintings, these are actually commission works. Um, so since university, like I said, I just started and um, these are works that have been commissioned uh, for buyers. And I really get an inspiration, um, not only from what, you know, colours that they suggest and ideas that people have, but I like to interpret these from my surroundings, experience in life. Uh, as you can see, it's very abstract in the way I paint. But um, for me, it makes a lot of sense, and uh, like particularly this one, um, I did. Yeah, so um, this was a piece that I did on Easter Friday from my from my church. Uh, who asked me just to if I could do this as part of worship, and the theme, the idea was about um, I chose for the blood of Jesus, so about how you know our mucky kind of life you know just gets cleansed and purified by the blood so you got examples of just how you can take real life or um cultural influences and just really interpret them into art and that's what i love doing um over here for example um is another kind of form of expression so i'm very free and gestural and it's quite large Used to, something I used to do at university and it's something I, I want to explore a little bit more as well because I really like to do it. It's just from everyday kind of paints like emulsion, um, poster paints and a bit of acrylic as well. And it's really very, I like to be very free and creative and expressive um, as you can see from the different kind of paintings. And you know, if you check out my website, thomasnarsonart.co.uk, you see a lot more different things as well where I really like to challenge what it means to paint. I, I don't like to just see things the way they are and just accept it. I like to kind of create something new and vibrant and different. So um, just over here, you're probably wondering, you know, he's talking about his art, but what is this big heart doing in the way? What is it doing in this space? And actually it was a um, from an event that I did at the start of April, April 1st, uh, called Blank Canvas. So it was my own facilitated event and it was about letting everyday people, public people, get a chance to express themselves and have opportunity to um, use art to kind of express what they're, what they're feeling or what they see or their surroundings. And um, what I did, you can see over here, I got um, just bright coloured pens and I painted this in, uh, with chalkboard paint. So it was very wipeable and easy to get off, but also um, it could really stand out in the space as well. And it was a chance for people just to come. It was at the Mac Centre in um, Birmingham, Cannon Hill Park. And what we did, we just allowed people to express what art matters meant to them. And um, it was a really big success. We had it um, up to, all, well, at least 80 and over people of all ages and cultures um, interact with this. And it was really interesting to see 
people's approaches at first, you know, a lot of people were a little bit like, oh, I can't draw, I can't do this, and then after a few minutes, I kind of warmed into it, and they're just going crazy, and, you know, I really feel that it's very important just to give people a platform to express themselves. You know, we, we do it through social media or, or, or different other platforms, but I always feel it's good just to get a hands-on grip and just say, you know what, this is what I wanted, this is how I feel, this is who I am, and, you know, a lot of people find art as a good tool, a therapeutic tool just to do that. Um, and also what we did as well, we had um, a Polaroid camera to accompany us with this event and we took um, shots, I'll just show you one of these here. Um, yeah, so we had one of our participants have a speech bubble and just also write what the fact this was. And then what we did with these, um, Polaroids is we hung them along a peg and we made a clothesline um, and pegged them on. It's really interesting and creative and that's really where I like to um, really be. I like to just find different ways to kind of capture or showcase or give the opportunity for people to use art. I want to show people that you know what, hey, art isn't just about getting a piece of paper or a pen and just drawing or just painting for no reason, you know, it can really affect and change um, people's lives. You know, I've done events um, up in Lancaster and I've done university um, like open days and it was good for families to come and participate where they use painting as that kind of expressive feeling and you know, now about 300 to 500 people participate, it was so good and it's something I really want to push forward into uh, Birmingham and obviously for myself as well. I think it's going to be really um, beneficial to most people, especially the young people taking part. You know, it doesn't matter if they're not going to be artists or not, or you know whether they're going to be the next Van Gogh or uh, whoever. I always feel that creativity is necessary in um, the UK, and it's necessary for people's lives as well. You know, look at your iPhones, look at your Samsungs. These are from creative minds, and I want to just empower those kind of people. So yeah, that's me. Hope to hear from you soon.